admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. No, the hunters better be careful of super wolf. You must hide all the time, mom. There's not a lot to do, but. That's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. 
she's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanna's like Sean. They make art so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. <clears throat> By the way, uh, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there, but I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well. Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Figures they'd be looking for us. After all we did. Oh, shit. Still can't believe she's kept it. Okay, dude. 
Don't forget about David. Sean. Hey. Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. I feel you, David. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. <laughs> Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. What's David doing with that? Creepy dude. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in the community. Still not the right one. Come on. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rock. Uh, no. One thirty six, listening. We've got reports of a wait. Is this it? Sam's. <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right.
This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You, you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe. Instead of being a bully, all of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Yeah, I'm good. Finally done setting up those solar panels. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. You got that right. Now, how about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? that little boy next time I swing by Santa Rosa. Nah, still haven't heard anything. Just hope. 
they won't let him out. Well, we know lawyers. Can't expect much from them. Sure. Okay. Hey, take care. Talk soon. When we're in Mexico, we won't have to deal with this shit anymore. You'll be fine in Mexico. Don't worry. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. He always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Yeah. Daniel's power freaks me out. But I only hope he'll never have to use it again after we cross that border. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. You're gonna have to learn to trust him and let go, even if that scares you sometimes. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. It's just empty houses and rocks over there. Dead. Um, I don't know. Come on. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Daniel did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. Okay. One big hug, and get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. 
So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. I know, sweetie. I'll miss you too. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. I'll definitely miss all this peace and quiet. Hmm. Hope we can find some. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. Daniel just got his mom. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom. I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair, but you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel, and your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it.
Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. Let's hit the road. Take care, boys. Stay safe. This hurts. Bye, everybody. Hey, is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? Come on. You can make friends when you go back to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You've been in everywhere we go, and we'll get to hang out too. Um. Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Good.
so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Sean, why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. They better. I'll teach them a lesson if they don't leave us alone. They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know... It's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. This is the opposite of Seattle. We're at the end of America. 